Now, KGUN 9 on your side, sports. Sponsored by Casino Del Sol. I am Jason Barr. Welcome to Football Friday Night, the second full week of the high school football season. We start with a new field and an old rivalry. Douglas High School has installed new synthetic turf coming up here just in time for its heated rivalry against Bisbee. It is the annual battle for the copper pick. Here's a look at Armando De Lucas Stadium. The field comes from a company in Texas. That's who installed it. The $850,000 turf was paid for by a bond. It is a source of pride for Douglas. The best thing about having this field, first off, is support. You know, the support of our district admin, um, our school board. You know, being able to give this uh, to support our athletes, that's the best thing about it. I think um, believing in us and knowing that um, we can make our community proud and our school proud. All right, as for the game, the Copper Pick Trophy on the line. Bisbee is without suspended coach Brian Vertrees, so assistant Bobby Coronado coached the Pumas tonight. All right, first quarter. Bisbee's Diego Chavez takes the handoff off the middle and takes it 18 yards for the score. Eight nothing after the two point conversion. Second quarter. Bisbee QB Sebastian Lopez calls his own number. He's fast on that new turf. Touchdown makes it 14 0. The Pumas looked like they were in control. But then a big play by the Bulldogs kind of switched the momentum. Lopez intercepted by Emmanuel Berkeley, and that's going back the other way for a score. And get this the Bulldogs come back to win 24 21. The pick is returning to Douglas. All right, back here in Tucson, Sabino off to a strong 2-0 start. It's thanks in part to quarterback Cameron Hackworth. He's 32 for 43 for 534 yards and five touchdowns so far. Tonight, though, stepping up in competition against American leadership to the Sabre Dome we go. Sabre Cats down 27 in the third. Hackworth loses the handle, gets it back, throws it up. Savon Berryhill behind the defense and scores. He's the brother of Wildcat wide receiver Stanley Berryhill. All right, Sabino, though unable to come back all the way because this is Cruiser Proctor with a QB keeper for American leadership, and they win 33-14, handing Sabino its first loss of the season. All right, to Amphi High we go. Friedley Field, the 1-0 Panthers hosting 0-2 Salrita. And after a Mustangs punt, it is Amphi with the ball in a big hole for Kiko Trejo. Kiko going all the way for the TD. Amphi wins 42-27, five touchdowns on the night for Trejo. Let's keep it going now with Walden Grove at Catalina Foothills. Two teams each coming off a week one loss. Falcons quarterback Connor Smith with the keeper. And he is in there across the goal line for the Foothills. And they were trying to keep the momentum going and again going to the ground game. Xavier Norwood Ramirez in the middle there with another TD. Walden Grove, though, they are a good team. You know they get something going. Jason Stevens, he's found his man, and it's Duncan Hoover. Watch the run after the catch by Duncan Hoover. Duncan's gonna go. This is a nice job. Walden Grove wins a wild win tonight. Final score, 28-27. The Red Wolves pull this one out. All right, how about Rincon and coach Kyrie Copeland hosting Pueblo as we listen in to the Rangers band. Very nice, Rincon down 6-0 in the second quarter. Quarterback Gabe Lopez puts it up. Jeffrey Seeger. Jeffrey Seeger's got it. This one's going to go. This is 76 yards for the touchdown for Rincon. I'm afraid it was their only highlight. Pueblo took control after that, and the Warriors go on to win. Final score, 44-8 over Rincon. Let's talk some college football. Arizona meets San Diego State tomorrow night in its home opener. The Wildcats will be trying to stop that 13 game losing streak that dates all the way back to 2019. Jed Fish's team is a two point favorite over the Aztecs. So it's the 0 1 Wildcats kicking off against 1 0 San Diego State at 7 o'clock p.m. The game is on the Pac 12 network. Steve Kerr is an honorary captain. He's also in town for the Lute Olson Memorial, which is going to take place Sunday at McHale Center. Heidi and Pat. Arizona's going to win tomorrow. I think I'm so saying too. by three over San Diego State. I, I think the losing streak ends tomorrow night at Arizona State. I, I back you up on that. That's my <laughs> prediction as well. 